Hello guys, Gaming Revolution here. It's like, just kidding. Hey guys, welcome back. Deltas. It's Delta Kilo 1-1. Back for another video. Call of Duty updates. A few things that's been going on in the world, you know what I mean? Let's get into it. So, we got the Walmart removing violent games and whatnot from shelves. Why? I have no clue why. Uh, you sell ga You sell games. You sell weapons. Now, with the recent tragedies that happened uh, in the world, you decide that video games are the problem aside from weapons. Now, I'm a gun advocate, but that sounds very stupid, especially from a business standpoint. If you think video games are hurting your bottom line versus guns, in this situation, you're crazy. But, hey, whatever. Then you got people driving... You got kids driving their brand new BMWs that they got for birthday presents into a river. So, a lot of people are cuckoo, uh, including Walmart, including a guy that drove his BMW into, <laughs> into a freaking river, man. These people are crazy. But let's get to Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty. This is what we're here for. Uh, tier 1 operators, you guys ready to go? So, looks like... Uh, Activision came out and they were like, hey, we made $800 million on microtransactions and uh, so we're going to keep them in the game and people are more immersed in the, the microtransactions. Well, not microtransactions, but you know what I'm trying to say. $800 million. Now, hmm, let's think here for a minute. Everybody talks about microtransactions, how microtransactions this, microtransactions is that. Now, me personally, I've never purchased any Call of Duty points, any skins of supply drops, whatever. I've never purchased a micro uh, in-game transaction for Call of Duty. But with that eight hundred million dollar number, some of you guys are lying. I mean, big time lying. But that's a conversation for another day. We can get to that later. But at the same time, this means that Activision is probably going to be more aggressive with the microtransactions in Modern Warfare, especially if they see uh, the game not being pushed or the game not being played or people not, the online play or people not responding and giving our feedback. We have to be immersed in this game. We have to push this game. We have to give our feedback to Activision Infinity War. We have to let them know that, hey, this is what we want, not the fiasco where me and the homies can go wreck some stuff. I love the, and the best part about survival mode is the, the ability to buy kill streaks. That's why I like it. Like So you have like the kill streaks from the multiplayer and a, a basically a co-op mode. You know, you know, I mean, I, I love that. You need that. Uh, <clears throat> I love that. We need that. And uh, they just started working on this mode uh, because they were getting so much feedback like, hey, we want survival mode. We want this. We want that. Uh, I'm glad whoever you guys were watching Activision, I'm thanking I'm thanking them <laughs> for, for you hearing it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we got up to 30, now we're going to go to guns, we got up to 30 guns, uh, people have been able to see, uh, we got the P P90 in there, people have seen the P90, but of course we saw P90 play uh, in the 2v2 mode, uh, people said the Glock are come back, coming back, that's one of my favorite, the Glock, uh, uh, let's see here, the M13, oh man, I can't wait to play with that gun, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, <laughs> the M13, that's going to be probably one I'm using a lot. That and the M4A1, I'm probably going to be using that a ton, a ton, a ton. That looks freaking awesome. Uh, some miscellaneous things we got to talk about here. Uh, you, you can see, uh, you now see teammates through the walls, which, I mean, that's cool and all, but I'd rather have the mini-map. Not having a mini-map is like... Uh, Saying this is not Call, Call of Duty, I mean, in my opinion. Uh, people that now the Activision said, wait till you play the game and then give us your feedback. Well, I'm going to give you my feedback now and I'm going to give you my feedback after I play, play the uh, beta. I want a mini map. 
Give me my mini map. Let the hardcore players play without a mini map. And get rid of the compass or be able to turn it on and off or whatnot. Give me that option or something, please. Like, you're doing great with the customization. You're doing great with how the game looks itself, how the mechanics look, how the graphics look. Uh, the realism mode, I'm not a fan of. But you brought 10v10. You brought 20v20. You're talking about. Uh, 32 versus 32, all the way up to 100 players. Bring us our mini map back. It's really not that hard. Now I can see if you'd be like, no, we don't want a mini map for those game modes. But for 20 v 20 and less, bring back the mini map. It's just that easy. It's it's really that easy. I'm I promise you, it's that easy. Uh, and then I brought up the uh the mini the realism mode. It looks fun. I couldn't tell you how many times I'll, I could see myself playing it more than like four or five times, maybe with some friends, but uh, mostly I'm going to be playing Spec Ops, Survival Mode, Multiplayer Campaign. Uh, and just a reminder for you guys that uh, when the game drops, the full game drops, I will be doing a commentary stream and a video of the walkthrough for the gameplay uh, for the campaign and then I will do a no commentary uh, walkthrough later on after I get through the multiplayer you know because people are going to be on it and I don't want to miss too much of the multiplayer you know what I mean I want to be ready to go and uh, so uh, between that time so we're going to be like so it's going to be campaign with commentary stream multiplayer slash spec ops and then later on down the line I'll do a campaign with no commentary uh, so we'll be good to go. We can have some fun, get some things done, and see what you guys want to see from me from in terms of game commentary because there are other games that will be coming out, other games that will be rolling out, and I will gladly do commentary on them. Uh, I play a big variety of games. Uh, I'm ready to go. So please leave a comment down if you want me to do a certain gameplay after Call of Duty drops. I will definitely do that. No problem. Uh, my gameplay skills and uh, game gameplay commentary much better than my videos that I shoot. But hey, it can't be great at everything. Only can be great at some things. <laughs> but uh, in, uh, just in conclusion, guys. Uh, I'm excited for Modern Warfare. I'm excited for the way it's been going since day one. Uh, I don't want... Uh, Black Ops 4 was a disaster. Let's just be honest. Uh, people say it's the worst Black Ops... I mean, the worst Call of Duty. It is. Um, I don't think that they took their time with this. They basically reskinned uh Black Ops 3, threw stuff on there here and there and made the microtransactions outrageous and say hell here black ops 4 you guys can have that money grab no i don't they, i don't see that with modern warfare 2 they they took their time they uh seemed like whoever was working on this appreciated every step of the uh process of making this game uh, i think in the future that uh infinity war are pro obviously going to be releasing the better titles uh, from now on, uh, especially if they use this as, the, you know, this is where the mark is. We can't below go below this. And they use that as a benchmark. We will see great things from Infinity War and Call of Duty. Um, Modern Warfare, uh, I will give it my fair criticism when the time comes. I can't give a crit I can't give critic a true criticism on something that I haven't played yet. I can't give a true criticism on something that I'm just seeing secondhand. Uh, when a beta comes out, uh, after the first weekend of the beta, I'll give it a, a true criticism. Uh, what I don't like, what I do like, what can they can do better. Uh, so, in, in the meantime, I'm gonna get uh, some other things in order. Uh, we got a video coming. Me and my cousin, uh, we're going to do a video on the Marvel MCU Universe. Please check that out. Please like and subscribe. And please don't forget, we're going dark. All the time. Enemy took Charlie. TACOM, for support now. Alpha secure. Sentry online. <laughs> UAV inbound. Press counter UAV inbound. Enemy down. Losing.
chasing Alpha. Bravo, locked down. We lost Alpha. Losing B. Flight surveillance securing A. 